The car is a 2009 Mercedes E-Class 220 CDI with 153,305 kilometers on the clock. The defect reported by the customer is difficulty shifting into gear and excessive dragging. We must first clean the hydraulic system of the automatic gearbox. For this purpose, we remove the cap of the oil filling hole in the engine compartment and add the detergent additive. Use the flushing machine to pump the additive into the system. First, we must connect the intake pipe from the flushing machine to the gearbox. This pipe is now connecting to the oil filling hole, whose cap was previously removed. After connecting the intake pipe from the flushing machine to the gearbox, switch the internal valves of the flushing machine to the add additive position. Now we fill the intake box of the flushing machine with the additive. After filling the flushing machine with the additive, the additive is pumped into the automatic gearbox. The operation ends when the additive is finished. We now disconnect the intake pipe of the flushing machine and take the car for a drive on the road, so that the additive can act inside every part of the hydraulic system of the automatic gearbox. After about 20 minutes of driving on the road, the vehicle is brought back to the garage and lifted onto the auto lift. By unscrewing the cap of the drain hole underneath the oil pan, it is possible to drain the exhaust oil mixed with the additive, which will have cleaned the inside of the gearbox. We can see the colour of the exhaust oil and the cleanliness of the gearbox, which is already visible on the oil pan, magnet and on the filter. We replace the filter with a new one. We also replace the rubber seal of the oil pan with a new one. We reassemble the oil pan on the gearbox. The counterpipe is now disconnected from the heat exchanger and the adapters are attached. one on the counter pipe of the exchanger and the other directly on the gearbox hole, which is now free. We then connect the flushing machine to the adapters. The counter pipe from the heat exchanger, red pipe, is connected to the intake seal of the flushing machine, while the outlet seal of the flushing machine is connected to the oil intake hole of the gearbox. This way, the flushing machine can be connected in series between the heat exchanger and gearbox. We switch the internal valves of the flushing machine to the add new oil 
position. We add the new oil in the flushing machine. We pour about five liters of new oil into the gearbox, the same amount of oil that was drained previously. We activate the pump of the flushing machine and pump the new oil into the oil pan. When bubbles appear in the small pipe of the new oil or no oil at all, this means that all the new oil inside the flushing machine has been pumped into the oil pan. We can now stop the flushing machine. We now need to start the vehicle so that the oil pump of the automatic gearbox can circulate the new oil, which has just been poured into the oil pan throughout the entire system. During this step, it is extremely important that we shift the lever into every gear so that the oil not only penetrates into the inverter, thus cleaning it, but also into every part of the electrohydraulic system. When bubbles appear in the small pipe of the exhaust oil, this means that there is no more oil in the gearbox and we need to immediately stop the engine so that the gearbox does not operate without oil. If the small pipe of the exhaust oil still has a dark color, some new oil can be added to the gearbox so that we can continue cleaning the exhaust oil with new oil. This operation must be performed in the same way as described previously, adding additional oil when the engine is off and then starting the engine again. When the color of the exhaust oil is similar to that of the new oil, the procedure can be stopped and the cleaning cycle is finished. An additive is now poured into the flushing machine and then pumped into the gearbox. An additive is now poured into the flushing machine and then pumped into the gearbox. Its function is to improve the internal mechanical performance of the gearbox itself. During this step, by activating the flushing machine, only the additive that has just been poured into the intake box is flowing through the small pipe of the new oil. In fact, we can note how the color of the small pipe with the new oil becomes lighter. A few seconds ago, it was red due to the presence of new oil. Add all the additive. We check the temporary level of the oil, that is, at cold. After checking the temporary level of the oil, the next step is to drive the vehicle on the road for a few minutes so that the new oil and the additive in the gearbox can circulate through the system. We now stop the vehicle and check the final level of the oil, obviously by following the manufacturer's instructions. The last step is to replace the cap of the oil filling hole in the engine compartment. 
the flushing procedure is now finished.